Hey everyone, Zero Jedi here with the X-Play Fans Channel. I'm here to show off Ghost 1.0. It's uh, actually a game by the Unepic guys. Uh, it is very much a Metroidvania kind of game. Uh, I play as Ghost here, and I am actually been hired by uh, this guy here, Boogan, uh, Boogan and Jacker, to run around the Nakamura space station to actually go to like the mainframe and steal a AI brain kind of thing because they want to hack it, but they can't hack it from the outside. But it's very much a Metroidvania kind of thing where you're collecting power-ups. Uh, you can actually buy power-ups. Uh, right now, as you see, I have these little two drones here. At the upper left, you can see I have like 380 health. I started with, I think, much lower, maybe 200. Uh, those little cubes, the little yellow, is actually the currency. One is actually the security level, the alarm level. So the higher the alarm level is, uh, the farther you go into the game, it rises. Uh, and you'll get to these areas where you have to survive while they get hacked, and then you can move on. And next to that is just the keys. Uh, bottom left, you see I have a quick use bar of items. I found them fairly useless because the health items recover about 10 health out of 380. Below that is my weapon. Uh, this is my main weapon. I've actually upgraded to have a uh, rapid fire, do more damage, and have a homing shot. It, reco it uh, regenerates and it actually has up to uh, 32 shots. Uh, right now I'm essentially at a, uh, just a map station, teleport station, and I can kind of go through uh, the entire place. So I've only, I've been playing for about three hours and this is all I've really kind of uh, gone through. Uh, but you saw earlier, I actually have an inventory where I have items, power-ups, weapons. Uh, as you can see, I only have one main weapon right now. Upgrades, which are uh, what they say upgrades. These are what I've been bought. I've been, uh, I've been, there's a certain, there's a mechanic where you clear out a level. I'll tell you about that later. And then geek stuff are just like, hey, uh, when I have this equip, if I slide on something, it does the Tarzan sound effects. So uh, power-ups are what I've actually bought in the store, so I can disable them. Right now I have two little drones. I love my little drones. Uh, like I said, shot enhancers here. Weapons are here. And uh, upgrades, let's say I go into a certain room and I fulfill a condition, it'll shoot out these little dots. They're kind of like little sprites uh, that I need to pick up. But uh, right now my main mission is to collect uh, samples because, hey, we're on a, oh, that's perfect. Uh, these are the little souls I need to pick up and I will get a reward at the end of this. But uh, we are right now, we are on a station that has only robots on it, but there's a, uh, a like, hydroponics lab. And for some reason, they got some, like, modified plants. And they're like, hey, gather us samples because we want to check it out. So in this case, I got a uh, repair thing. But uh, let's check out my map. So I need to go to the right. So we'll head over this way. Uh, so far, I am loving this game. Is this where I want to be? Yes. We're going to go over here and go through here. Oh, this is perfect. See how there's a uh, level... See see how it says top of security level 5? To get through here, I have to go through these beams, but as soon as I activate the beams, that's going to happen. So actually, before that starts, I'm going to go to my skill tree. Uh, it's a simple kind of thing. Uh, certain rooms have skill points, but uh, two items you might see come into play are active things I have here where it's like, hey, this guy, he's hacking, so this, play, these, uh, this room hack will go 10% faster. But there's also a chance when they drop pot in enemies, they might explode. And there's a chance that I will uh, hack a turret and end up working on my side. And of course, the other, you can see like the each area, like as, as you upgrade these things, there's an additional bonus right above them. Uh, this one actually has stuff that is a detriment to you, like stronger enemies and stuff like that. But uh, you'll have a higher chance to get repair kits. So here we go. I can j double jump and all that fun stuff. So I guess kind of... I mainly just got to kind of survive. Uh, these have not been super crazy hard. But I want to know, you might see, this, uh, see on the screen pop up like hack complete or something like that in the pod. Oh, there's two of them. So these guys I've been uh, fighting earlier. So as you can see, my uh, on the bottom left, my gun has run out of charge, so I kind of need to shape up and uh, stay alive. Free to go. So he's uh, completed the hack, but if I want to get the reward for this area, I need to kind of... Uh... Oh, and I've died. That's a good thing. Uh, when you die, it is a rogue light. Uh, so I can, if I can get back to my body, I can get my goodies back, or at least a partial of them because I have a skill that dictates, oh, hey you get this back. So we're going to head over here and it marks your last death. And it 3D prints you. I can hold B. You're not actually the robot. You're a person who uh, is controlling the robot. 
So that was a level five room, and those are kind of nasty. Uh, for the uh, little like ghost things, the little souls that appeared, I've found that like eliminating all the enemies, getting to a certain section in the area will kind of pop them out. It's not always consistent. So I have a perk that gives me back some of my uh, goodies. So I actually had like 3,000 of them. So I was waiting for a good store so I could buy some upgrades. Sadly, that's not going to happen. All right, cool. Got that one. Uh, the Okay, so since I technically cleared out the room, I can hit the A button here. And uh, some of these actually respawn, so you can kind of farm them. And I'll just kind of blow those out and get all this. So he's going to probably kick me back over here. So that's just a repair joiner. I don't know what that is. Oh, so it's just making... So I don't actually have any repair kits. Uh, you can buy these things at like shops and stuff. It almost feels like uh, a lot of these uh, areas are designed. So you're kind of like, hey, I want to kind of just shoot everywhere. When I get to another point, uh, there's a uh, sort of a hack or a uh, kind of a thing where it's like I can enter other machines and stuff like that. All right, so this is actually perfect. So now I'm gonna take this coin, this uh, skill point, and uh, see, I can get more re resistant to bullet damage, more HP, ground rolling hurts enemies. I don't know what that does, so I'm gonna ignore it. It's like, this is really nice, like, that would be. So sometimes, like, there's a chance, like, when the robots are coming down, uh, it'll drop a uh, repair, uh, repair thing. And this is this how these. Dugan, come see this. This is how been some of the stories been going through, like these two guys here. Trial of our time. Uh, a lot of it is. Against Nakamura Corporation. It's got some unique humor. The polemic group Free Robots. I'm gonna actually skip this so you guys don't really get spoiled on anything. But that's a lot how. Uh, so since I died, I have to go and recollect all those samples, which is kind of annoying. So uh, that's gonna might take a little while, but uh, it'll, they'll show up on my map, I believe. Yeah, they will. So I can at least get the ones that are closer to me. Maybe leave the easy ones for last. So this room has respawned, which is nice for me because, hey, I can go and get some more goodies. I'm not gonna get that one. Go down here, here. But I'm I'm very much loving this game. This week has given us a lot of fun games. We go here, so we're gonna. I'm gonna show you a shop, and then we'll keep moving. But you're essentially when you die, you get 3D printed, and you're kind of. Oh, you're in space, by the way. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, everything's free, but they're like, oh, we just need the energy to do so and so. So if I wanted to, I could buy like two of these, but I don't want to. I'm looking for like the like full upgrades. What does this do? I forgot. All right, so that means, uh, so if I go to the stations, I can buy that. So if I buy this, it's, uh, uh, it should, that's only gonna give me 10. So if I want to, I can do this. So now I have all these other goodies or like, hey, now I can rejoin. Like, that'll do 20. That'll do 40. So it's a lot of tiny little build-up. It's like, it, it's combining items, so whatever. Uh, there, there's a fun little spot where earlier where uh, I was going through this hallway. And they're like, oh, we can't hack in there. Uh, so be nice to the robots. Uh, so I had to walk around and bow to the robots and be like, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And it, it, it went on just long enough to be irritating, but not like I don't want to play anymore. And there was actually a joke about like she looks, she is probably super pissed off about this. And it's like one of those on running jokes of like, hey, yeah, they're making fun of her. They left the, uh, like they left, hey, they left this microphone on. So I'm trying to, there we go. So I've collected those bits. Here's another uh, uh, secret safe room. So let's go through here. Uh, there's a lot. There's 93 achievements in this game. 
but it's the kind of the thing like hey there's uh there's a lot to do so i really like that i actually have a oh hey i have a uh, homing shots in this thing i've encountered a boss so far he was uh interesting to fight That was a really big explosion. Super into that. Uh, the homing is a sort of a vague homing kind of thing. Uh, I really like it. I think it's done really well. See, like I'm kind of aiming here. Opening doors. There we go. So like the achievements are like, hey, do these escalation events kind of thing and uh, not take any damage. Uh, one of my perks at the end of all of these uh, drops health. So that's uh, a perk I love. But this is uh, the game. Uh, I'm three hours in, I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, so uh, another thing here, another big thing of this is, hey, I can hit X, I can go over here and I can possess robots and I can make them do stuff for me. So he's gonna run over here, he's gonna push A and disable all that shit for me. And then I'm gonna be like, hey. And just do that. Well, there, and there's also an achievement for like not killing any of those little nice little robots, but. So I can actually tank that damage. So, all right, so these guys are chatting. I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna be you. And then bam, 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 bam. Uh, you can do this during those, uh, I don't know why I call them escal alarm events. The issue is if your main body gets destroyed, uh, you are kind of kicked back to a safe spot. Let's get this key. And let's see what else we got. So that is a good one there. That's a My Little Pony reference as well. So we're gonna skip that as well. I don't wanna spoil anything for you. So uh, like Jacker's stuff is all about like kind of like, man, hey, make them all work for you. So like, I'm gonna probably be like, hey, I wanna, like, uh, like I wanna do so-and-so over here uh, with uh, more robot combat. Like, hey, maybe I wanna invest in like ghost skills or something like that. But uh, that's the game. Uh, I'm liking this a lot, a very Metrovania. There is a survival uh, mode that is more of, hey, you die, it's kind of over. But uh, so far, uh, no big issues. Uh, the controls are a little weird. A is interact. Uh, left, uh, damn it, left trigger is the jump. Right trigger is fire. Uh, roll is left bumper. But uh, it's something to get used to real fast. Uh, X does that. You can quick... Like, one of your things might be like, well, do I have to go all the way back to her? If you hit right bumper, you just go right on back to her. So far, B, uh, Y has been used as confirm in menus, so it's not been used in-game in yet so far. But uh, if you enjoyed the humor in up in, uh, in Unepic, you will probably enjoy the humor here. So there's one more here. There's one all the way up here, and then... There might be some more over here, but uh, from what it looks like so far, I have not gotten very far into the world at all, and I'm kind of excited to keep on trucking in through here. But uh, hey, I'm going to go and scan myself. I am ZeroJD. This is the X-Bay Fans channel. This is Ghost 1.0 by the makers of Unepic. Once again, if you like that game, uh, the setup is pretty much the same, sci-fi. The humor is a little hit and miss, so you may like it, you may not like it. Uh, they made a Arnold Schwarzenegger joke earlier. Uh, the call sign for you is Houston, and one of the first things you say is, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, kind of stuff like, hey, uh, he made a Daft Punk reference for harder, better, faster, stronger, but he said it out of order, so the other guy corrected him. And uh, it's just all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, thank you so much for watching me. Check out other videos and have a nice night, or day, or afternoon, or whatever. Just check out other videos and hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, please. We love you.